I'm Darcy and I'm here with TVC's Greek Corner. We're at the corner of Johnny Majors and Pat Summit at the Phi Sigma Kappa House and we're about to go on a tour. Uh, we're on the Eagle's Nest, which is uh, the game day balcony. We bring up speakers and we put speakers out on here and they play our music on game day. And then you get like a bunch of really intoxicated brothers <laughs> sitting up here and just talking to people down there because the porch is packed too. And so this is the main area for the music. And if you want to like look out over the crowd, sorry. Right now we're on the executive stairway, which uh, leads up to the side where the president and vice president treasurer live on. So if we walk up to this door, I can take you to that hall. So now we're back with Kevin and they have a really lovely view of the baseball field, which is really nice, but also it has its downfalls. So Kevin, can you tell us what happened here? Uh, well, they're having batting practice before the season started, and uh, we were sitting in the main room. All of a sudden, we heard a crack from the ball getting hit, and then a smash of a window getting hit. And we knew it was at our place, and we came up here, and this window had a baseball, and the baseball was sitting in that corner, and it had gone straight through the window. And it's a double pane window, so it was a pretty hard hit ball, but it came through, broke our window, and we actually have in our budget, money set aside for the windows because it happens a lot. So it's one of the uh, downfalls of living so close to the baseball field, but it's still pretty awesome. Okay, but more importantly, did you get to keep the ball as a souvenir? Uh, one of the brothers did. I didn't. Nice. Well, that's all that matters. It's a good moment. It's <laughs> true. Hi, now we're at the Sigma New House with Hughes Miller, who recently organized a big event and can you tell us about that? Uh, sure. Um, last Monday is part of Greek Week, and I'm, direct, I'm the uh, chaplain for IFC. And along with uh, Shelby Payne, who's Panhellenix um, chaplain, we uh, helped coordinate the All Greek Worship for this year as part of the Greek Week. Um, I was really, really happy with the way it turned out. I know we had over 300 people attend, and I was really, really excited about those numbers, and hopefully we'll keep that a trend coming in the next couple of years. We um, help, had help with the Carlos's Praise Band. They did a great job contributing to the worship. Um, also, we had speakers from Church Street Pres uh, Methodist, uh, Second Presbyterian, as well as uh, Brent Kenyok from Campus House of Prayer. So it really gave a lot of spotlight on some nearby ministries, and also it was just a great way to bring the Greek community together and get the Greek week started off. I didn't get to make it, but it sounds like it was a really good event. So do you live here at the house? I do, actually. Okay, well, you think you could give us a tour? Yeah, just enter with caution. Enter with caution, okay. <laughs> So now we're in the living room. Can you tell us a little bit about what goes on in here? Well, normally during the day, a lot of people, they'll be down here um, just chilling, hanging out. I guess when they saw you guys coming, they just ran up to the rooms. But uh, watching TV, I guess the choice today was History Channel. That, that wasn't mine. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is kind of like the main thoroughfare um, on the weekends. This is where a lot of people hang out. You have direct access to the kitchen. Um, the girls' bathroom is right over there. And it's just a good place you can chill and watch TV. Okay, so as we're on our way to tour one of the rooms, I noticed this pool table, and I feel like it probably has an interesting story, so can you tell us about this? Um, well, I mean, there's an interesting story with just about anything that goes on here, to be honest, but um, I was actually out of town the weekend this happened, and I found out about it via email, but um, apparently they were using a pool table in a way a pool table shouldn't be used, and, um, and it's endured much abuse throughout this entire, since we had it, really. And I, I guess it just gave way and the legs fell off. You can see them stacked up in the corner. And now the pool table is lying on the floor. You can see stains from where drinks have been spilled on it. And um, all other signs of character that it has um, accumulated throughout the school year. Okay, and I also noticed this signed picture from Archie Manning. So how did you all obtain this? This is actually one of the coolest things I think we have in the house. Um, Archie Manning was a Sigma Nu at Ole Miss, as was um, his son Eli. And he, um, I'm not sure when he signed this, but he, this was given to us by him and signed uh, to Epsilon Eta. That's our chapter here. Best wishes, Archie Manning. So it's kind of cool to have something by a Sigma Nu who's so well known um, and that he actually signed up here in the house. Definitely a real treasure. All right, at the Sigma Nu patio, what kind of fun things can people get into out here? Um, well, there are lots of fun things they can get in on get into. Um, some of those I don't know if I can tell you about one here. I'm allowed to say that, right? <laughs> um, 
I mean, usually I'm in the football season. We had a couple of band parties out here. Um, my favorite was we had the Hillbilly Bastards after the Florida game, and that was a really, really fun party. Um, it's also this patio is great for tailgating or just hanging out on the weekends. We have cornhole games that go on here. It's just a good place to chill and relax. And it really, it's pretty private compared to the front porch. No one can really see in, but yet at the same time you can see out. So that's always kind of fun to watch the antics of the row um, in the wee hours of the morning. So it's one of my favorite places in the house.